here is a highly impressive scent that I want to share with you guys. And this one here is called King of France. And this is supposed to be Louis Vuitton. It's by Louis Vuitton. As you can see here, Louis Vuitton. Got a gold itemizer on. No, mind my dusty baller. Haven't worn in a while, but this is very impressive fragrance. It's supposed to be Louis Vuitton. Uh, I'll show you guys the sprayer. Pops out a lot there. Pretty decent. Um, very loud, kind of slightly sweet scent. Um, I didn't know Louis Vuitton had cologne. You know, I <laughs> I don't really buy a lot of Louis Vuitton stuff. Uh, when stuff is kind of on the expensive side, I think I don't I don't really know. You know, I don't really know a lot about him, but. When I smelt this fragrance, I was like, whoa, blown away at how good it smelled. You know, I like I said, I don't know a lot about Louis Vuitton or nothing, but uh, it smells good. But it, a lot of these colognes, no matter if the name is different or whatever, it's like this cologne smelling like this cologne. This cologne smells like this cologne. Uh, this cologne smells similar to this cologne, which it do. It smells similar to aqua. Whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, this smelling similar to pink on the rocks. Uh, just, anyway, just so for example, you know. It's like a lot of these colognes smell similar to the other. Like, you buy Louis Vuitton. You get it. Let's say you, this one probably retail your Louis Vuitton. Probably cost you two, three hundred bucks. Or more five hundred dollars, whatever Louis Vuitton chore. And then you get it, you sniff it, you smell it, and then you realize like, dang, I got something in my collection that smells similar to that, and then it popped in mind. Oh, I got uh Penguin, the original Penguin, which it do smell similar to that. I got original Penguin that smell almost identical to that. So out here's a lot of colognes smelling like something else. Um, sometimes you can be wasting your money. As many bottles of cologne I have, you know, it's like, it always you can find something out in your arsenal that smells similar to it. I don't care if it's a cheaper version, it still smells like it, you know what I'm saying? Just like this smell like pingling on the rocks. It smells like original pingling. When you first spray this, like this, you get about a good two and a half to two hours of projection. Um, it's, it's pretty strong because on the sweet side of things, longevity is somewhere between maybe five and seven hours. It was pretty long lasting. Pretty unique ball of there. You see the ball like it's split or something like that. It's got like, look like it's got two sides to it or something as you guys can see here. It's kind of a unique baller with the gold cap and all that stuff. Um, a lot of these ballers they make very unique, cool. Like I said, this make a good date night scent. Because I think the ladies would definitely love this one. Because I like the, uh, the sweetness that this gives out. You know, It's like a real nice sweetness. Yeah, I think the ladies would definitely like this fragrance though, y'all. The sweetness of it. Uh, the projection of it. Um. Like I said, the longevity, you'll get somewhere between five and seven. And I always say, you guys, after about four hours, I just reapply it again. And, and most of the time, I'm hitting my clothes with it like this. Because, you know, that smell is going to stay in my clothes a lot longer than it's going to stay on my skin. Because I got dry skin, so really too much. Um, don't know colognes really last that, that good on my skin, you know. So that's why I share that with you. I just call it what it is, man. It's Louis Vuitton, man. Y'all familiar with Louis Vuitton? And y'all know what the deal is. Hit that subscribe button, man. Louis Vuitton. I'm out of here. Peace.